The way grid penalties are applied is changing very slightly for 2018, so I thought I'd go over it all here, mostly because the way the final grid order is determined is actually not very transparent at all, for some reason. But I'm here to show you what's actually going on when the qualifying order becomes the grid order once penalties have been applied. For 2018, we're getting a new method for applying grid penalties because the previous system was deemed too confusing and made the sport look ridiculous. Not my words. I'm going to have a look at recent systems for applying grid penalties before giving you the definitive 2018 method. If you want to just skip straight to that, go to this time in the video. Let's start at the most basic point. Grid penalties are penalties applied to a driver's starting grid position. A one place penalty applied to a driver who qualified fourth means they'll have to start from fifth. That sounds simple enough, but the complications arise when there's more than one penalty that needs to be applied. In today's world of F1, grid penalties are the go-to easy forfeit for rule infringements or technical transgressions. As a consequence, most races, especially in the second half of the season when parts start to fail, will have multiple grid penalties applied to the starting order. What if several drivers have grid penalties? And what if one of the drivers has multiple grid penalties applied to themselves? In this simplified 10 car grid, in which I've reduced the strength of the actual penalties just so I can show you what's happening, let's say over the course of the weekend, the white car has a five place penalty for crashing into purple in the previous race. White also has a 25 place penalty for changing loads of engine parts. Then black has a five place engine penalty. Green has a three place gearbox penalty. Black then has another three place penalty for changing their gearbox. And then purple has a five place penalty for changing an engine part. Then they all qualify like this. How do we sort out the grid for the race? The process isn't particularly transparent, as I said, and has changed a bit over the years. Let's go back to 2014. In 2014, this is how the penalties would have been applied. You have to apply the penalty in the order they were received and shuffle everyone forward to fill the gaps after you apply each penalty. So how does that look? So white gets a five place penalty, meaning they move to 13th position and everyone shuffles to fill the gap. There's only 10 places on the grid, so white shuffles up back to 10th. White then takes a 25 place penalty and drops to 35th, but of course then shuffles back up to 10th. Black drops five places to 12th. Everyone shuffles forward, including black. Green drops three places to 9th. Black takes their second penalty and drops to 13th, but of course, they shuffle forward to 10th again, and then purple takes their penalty and drops to 12th, shuffles up to the last place on the grid. Looking at the final order, we see white's combined 30 penalty places has translated into a one place benefit. Green also only drops two places instead of three. These were the rules as they were, but at the end of 2014, the FAA decided they weren't happy with this system, as people like White were getting away with strategically taking massive penalties as early as possible in the weekend to make sure their effects were massively reduced. The FIA very quietly changed things up for 2015. Now, the system from 2015 to 2017 is a little bit different. This time, they decided not to reshuffle after every penalty and in fact wait for all the penalties to be applied before they shuffle everyone up to fill the gaps. So this time, White gets bumped from 8th to 13th and stays there for the time being. White then gets bumped further to 38th position. Black moves from 7th to 12th. Green drops from 6th to 9th. Now Grey is already in 9th spot and gets priority there, so Green has to sit behind Grey for the moment, but ahead of 10th place Purple. Black gets another penalty and drops to 15th. Purple now gets their penalty and drops to 15th, but behind Black, as again, Black has priority being there first. Now we shuffle everyone forward to fill the space, and White is at the back, where they should be. Black, with the second highest penalty count, managed to sneak ahead of Purple this time, but did qualify higher, so you could sort of call it fair. 
This system actually makes quite a lot of sense and it's far closer to giving everyone the forfeit they deserve compared to the previous system. Some people will still get much more relaxed penalties due to the order they come in and the way you ultimately have to shuffle everyone forward on the actual grid. I mean, you can't paint grid positions back to slot 250 or whatever it was the McLarens managed to get in 2017. Unfortunately, it just looked a bit stupid saying Grosjean had a 43 place penalty, Kvyat had a 28 place penalty, Alonso has a 67,000 place penalty. People were wondering what the hell was going on and it was really showing up the extremely tight engine regs. The Italian Grand Prix in 2017 had 9 drivers taking a total of 150-ish penalty places and no one really knew who was starting where until the lights went out. Mostly, in my opinion, that's the fault of the FIA for keeping the whole system so secret. So, the new simplified system for 2018. It probably won't solve the problems, but let's run through it. The system is basically the same as we already had, except if your grid penalty places sum to more than 15, you automatically go to the back. So let's work through it again. White goes to 13th, but then instead of going to 38th, because their total number of penalty places will be 30, more than 15, they'll go to the back of the grid. Black goes to 12th, green goes to 9th behind gray as before, black drops to 15th, but black only has a total of eight places dropped, so stays where they are. And purple drops to 15th, as before. And then when we shuffle it up, it looks like this. So that seems simple. White went to the back because they had loads of penalty places. But let's just rewind to before we shuffle forward. Now let's say at the last minute on Sunday morning, black gets a further 10 place penalty due to some engine changes. Now their total number of penalty places is 18, and 18 is more than 15, so they have to drop to the back. But white is already at the so-called back of the grid, so black has to slot in behind them. In fact, you kind of have to think of the back of the grid as a second grid, where all the super penalised people line up in the order they were penalised, and then they all move forward to the back of the grid. So in a sense, this system kind of includes some of the bad points from each of the previous systems, but in theory, should be easier to follow if you don't like things like adding up, which, you know, I do. So there you have it. That's how the system works. It will still be confusing as hell once penalties start stacking up, as they surely will in 2018 when cars are allowed less engine parts for the whole year. If you want to use this video when the time comes to try and work out what a grid will look like before the journos do, go for it. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you to my patrons who have been sponsoring me and helping me find more time and space to make these videos. If you'd like to sign up and be a patron, I would be super grateful. Have a good new year.